going on youtube it's your boy ogt man and today we got the rock is losing thousands of fans per hour why boy sunny v2 and people was just talking about that man on my story a few minutes ago i don't know why but yeah <coughs> posted this three weeks ago 2.8 mil three yeah well that being said let's go ahead and get started with the video just made WrestleMania's most disliked video ever, yeah. and through some terrible yeah. podcast appearances, a completely out of touch fundraiser, and his reputation as a walking talking advertisement, the mm. world's fakest celebrity has, for the first time ever, seen a fall in Instagram followers. Damn, but the biggest 224,228 followers? What the fuck you been doing? Mm -mm -mm. That shit crazy, man. I'm not going to lie to you. Whatever you said in that damn interview, it's fucked up. <coughs> might be his endless list of lies on everything from his movie earnings to fast food consumption. For example, back in 2017, Damn. The Rock posted this photo to his Instagram claiming I've never been to in and out before, which didn't seem all that serious until roughly five years later, when in August 2022, he'd post the following video. This is the very first time that I have ever tried an in and out burger or in and out fries or anything from in and out for that matter. He therefore claimed for a second Second time it was my first ever time eating in and out yet he might not have been guilty given he'd also said this now, i've picked up some in and out burger before for some buddies of mine i've never tried it so this is a first that would be until december 2023 <coughs> when the rock claimed for a third time he'd had my first in and out burger experience also pretending like he'd never even tried fast food before i didn't know the lingo didn't know who to pay where to pay didn't know shit before I just hate motherfuckers who lie. You're just so full of shit, nigga. Come on now. Make some self-congratulatory comments about leaving a massive tear. This led to mainstream media articles and a six million view Penguin Zero video. This is the third time he's done it. He keeps pretending that he's trying in and out for the first time every couple of years. The other two videos are still on your Instagram page. Forcing The Rock to change his description by adding, my first ever in and out burger experience again. Thanks to the fans who reminded me that I went to in and out years ago and totally forgot about it. But there was another lie that did way more damage. Black Adam was released in December 2022 yet after its theatre run ended Insider published an article reading, box office bust, Black Adam faces theatrical losses mm. The article explained that the film needed to earn around 600 million worldwide to break even, mm. yet box office experts believe Black Adam will stall out with less than 400 million globally. Damn. Now the movie stands to lose 50 million to 100 million in its theatrical run, although only three days later the Rock was saying the opposite. Waited to confirm with financiers before I shared this excellent Black Adam news. Our film will profit between 52 and 72 million fact. Also attaching a deadline article which stated, there's some snarking going on out there that Black Adam is poised to lose 50M to 100M. And that is simply just not true. The movie is bound to break even and be in the black. Well, it turns out this article was written with false information that The Rock had personally leaked to the journalist to make his film seem profitable. After 25 years, we finally found out what The Rock is cooking, the books. But the thing that's really mm. cooking his reputation is perhaps the cooking itself, as The Rock's longest running and most off-putting lies are on the topic of diet and exercise. For example, The Rock claimed to be eating a suspicious amount of food. Anywhere between six to well, I would say possible almost 8,000 calories a day. Which was quickly wow. shut down by Greg Doucette. <coughs> there is no way The Rock burns off enough calories to average six to 8,000 calories a day and look like this. If he actually ate those kind of calories, six to 8,000 a day, he would be 100 pounds overweight. Who went through The Rock's entire daily diet before adding this. He described about 3,000 calories, maybe 
But where do we get the six to eight total thousand calories? The Rock also uploaded a raw uncut leg workout, which he called intense and unlike anything I've ever done, which Greg went on to criticize. But look at the grimaces on his face. Notice how hard he seems to be pushing. This is two plates on each side. A man of the rock stature, size, and strength. I would believe that this would be a cakewalk. Many bikini competitors could lift this much weight. And I'm not trying to strength shame him here, but I believe that you're lying when you say that this kicked your ass. There is no way that this was difficult for you. Highlighting the rock's most notable lie of all. There's it not a fucking chance in hell he's clean. <laughs> no. Not a chance in hell. As big as the rock is, at 50. On the topic of steroids. That nigga's 50? And he looked like that? What the fuck? I mean, I know he was old, but... Why you gotta lie? Why? There's no need to lie. You've been in too many fucking movies, bro. Come on now. You ain't gotta lie. Mm-mm-mm. It's that money. Money got him making it. No, I'm just playing. I don't know what the fuck it is. Well, I don't even know why the fuck you would lie. We'll have to, but... Anyways, that's neither here nor there. Others said he hasn't touched them since he was 18 when he tried them before college. Sure, you get a lot of people out there who will suspect and say shit. They want to negate the hard work you put in. Although it's strange to see him only getting bigger, despite now being into his 50s. Mm. Eddie Hall gave his voice on what Dwayne might be using. I would believe that The Rock would be on TRT, which is testosterone replacement therapy. A very good thing to do. It's actually very good for you, very healthy for you. While Joe Rogan theorized he was probably using more, you can't even get there with HRT. That's not HRT. Which was again echoed by Greg Doucette. Not only do I not think he's natural, I don't think he's on HRT. I think he's on the, the kitchen sink. Whatever he can do. Really? I think he's on all of it and then some. You don't get big like that into your 50s compared to your 40s and 30s. Like you see some photos of him in his 30s. He's way bigger and leaner now. This has helped him to earn the following title. The Rock is the fakest celebrity in Hollywood. And nothing solidified this harder than The Rock's recent Joe Rogan episode. I would... That shit crazy. <clears throat> That's why you losing all them fans and followers because your ass is fucking cap when they start. See, this is why people don't need to be believing everything that they see on the internet because of shit like that. I was very hyped for this podcast, but it was honestly quite boring. Rock unironically has some serious politician traits with how he takes the middle road and nods his way through anything potentially controversial, Joe would say. As mentioned, The Rock tiptoed through the entire episode. You tell The Rock just did not want to give his opinion on anything, and he's walking on eggshells. You know, he's definitely worried about saying anything controversial or getting cancelled. Additionally, The Rock avoided controversy by controlling every topic, leading to other comments such as, Rock has asked Joe about a hundred questions so far, and I don't think Joe has asked Rock a single one. Joe is doing all the talking about the same old shit, and I'm about to fall asleep. The whole episode just felt kind of weird, not only because of Joe previously calling The Rock a steroid user, but because The Rock had also called Joe Rogan out himself. I thought The Rock disowned Joe during the whole N-word incident. Back in 2022, when Joe posted this iconic video, The Rock stood firmly behind him by writing, great stuff here, brother. Perfectly articulated. Looking forward to coming on one day and breaking out the tequila with you, although his support was met with backlash. Dear The Rock, you're a hero to many people, and using your platform to defend Joe Rogan, a guy that used and laughed about using the N-word word dozens of times is a terrible use of your power. Have you actually listened to this man's many racist statements about black people, causing the rock to fold instantly? Dear Don Winslow, thank you so much for this. I hear you as well as everyone here 100%. I was not aware of his n-word use prior to my comments, but now I've become educated to his complete narrative. Learning moment for me, showing he'd cave from the smallest bit of criticism. The rock was the most sanitized, neutered, safe person I've ever heard audio of. Not one real opinion. He was like the breathing version of Chat GPT in 10 years. Damn. They on your ass, boy. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hold up. I'm reading some. But they on your ass. That shit don't make no sense. Mm -mm -mm. 
Yes, the rock might be physically strong, but clearly has no public backbone, and nothing showed this more comically than his recent Maui controversy. After the island was burnt by fires, the rock and Oprah launched the People's Fund of Maui, contributing $5 million each before asking the public to donate. So we appreciate any support that you can give. What do I do? What do I do? This is what you do. The People's Fund of Maui. The comments have since been turned off completely, yet they once echoed the sentiment math ain't mathing with this one you guys literally have so much money you can donate it and make it back within a year now the rock didn't need to respond his five million dollar donation was already extremely generous yet once again he couldn't handle the backlash and uploaded a video claiming he'd done the wrong thing when we first launched the fund there was some backlash and i want to address and acknowledge that backlash right now and here's what i have to say about that i get it and i completely understand and I could have been better. And next time I will be better. The Rock doesn't even feel like a real person anymore. He's basically just a walking business, with the whole walking billboard mentality becoming increasingly obvious to everyone. He only has one mode, and that's sales mode. For example, he simply had to celebrate his sold out wrestling match with a massive swig of tequila. And what about the drink of choice for his first time trying in and out Well, mm. again, two straight shots of his own brand of alcohol. Not exactly mm. believable. But what about this wholesome video where he pulls up to a tour bus? You guessed it, it's actually an ad. We're building our second distillery. <laughs> You just cap? You just a fucking cap rap? I'm sorry for pausing so much, but damn, I knew I should have known when all that shit doing on when I was watching you do wrestling, bro. You was my nigga when it came to wrestling. Now I'm over here seeing all this bullshit, man. You done hurt my heart, you fucking fake ass nigga. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Just a fake ass nigga. We are the largest employer of everybody in Jesus Maria. I love Jesus Maria. Thank you, brother. Did you try the tequila? By scrolling to any part of his Instagram, you can see that around 75% of his posts are sponsored, and the nickname Dwayne the Ad Johnson is therefore perfectly fitting. This, combined with everything else, has severely wounded his image. However, his recent actions with the WWE have dealt the final blow. On the 23rd of January 2024, The Rock became a WWE boy board member and a voice for what takes place in the show. The Rock ensured the audience, at my core I'm a builder who builds for and serves the people, although so far he hasn't served anyone beside himself. How might you ask? Well, you'll need a bit of backstory. Roman Reigns was WWE champion for roughly three whole years, although it was hinted that the widely adored Cody Rhodes would be next to take the title. The two had a long running feud so their matchup seemed perfect, and Cody had just won the Royal Rumble, the the winner of which normally goes on to face the champ. Well, after all the hype had built, Cody Rhodes unexpectedly told Roman he didn't want to face him, randomly subbing himself out for The Rock who had no place in the story. Suspiciously, this was only 10 days after Dwayne became a board member, with many believing The Rock had simply written himself into their feud. The highlight therefore gained over 700,000 dislikes, What's being given the title movie? of the most hated WWE move ever, since the highlight is now the WWE's most disliked video. The backlash was so severe that the story was totally changed, with Cody successfully beating Roman in April, after which The Rock announced he was leaving. The story led some fans to state, I swear I haven't watched this much wrestling in years, although The Rock's personal following hasn't been so healthy. Only 12 months ago, The Rock was gaining 5 million followers per month, although through everything discussed in this video, That's what you fucking get. That's what you fucking get. You fucking bum. You fucking Bitch, you. No, I'm just playing. But anyways, wow. That, that shit don't make no sense. Don't make no fucking sense. Let's read these comments. Rock a lot. Rock a lot about his first time trying it out. Weirdest way to lose respect. Exactly. <clears throat> How the fuck do you forget that many times that you went to In-N-Out? Like, shit's not adding up for real. The Rock is now a product, not a person. <laughs> yep. Yep. Basically, The Rock got canceled for trying not to get canceled. 
just stupid shit. Mm-mm-mm. But anyways, it's your boy OGT Man signing out. Eee.